fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Hey guys, today I'm going to do an install. What I'm doing is, if you use downriggers where you have your downriggers in the back of the boat, most likely when you're trolling, you're always looking back and you can't see your front fish finder. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna install another unit right here in the back. So when he's trolling, he could actually see his fish finder. And what this does is any of your fish finders nowadays, if you got an ethernet port on the back of them, then you can net them. So basically I'm gonna run one transducer and then I'm gonna run the ethernet cable to the one I install on the back. So it'll be, they'll both be reading the same transducer. He could use his GPS and he can use a fish finder or whatever he wants from the back. So he doesn't have to tur keep turning his head around. He could actually see it in the back while he's operating his downriggers. Watch the video and if you like it, please subscribe and you can leave any comment and I'll get back with you and it'll help me out on doing this YouTube channel. During this video, you might see a couple things that you might need. If you click on the description box below, you can see what I did. When you're networking your system, you have to use the same brand. So Lawrence, Lawrence, you can't use Hummingbird and Lawrence. They have to be the both the same brand and they have to have an ethernet port. And then they'll talk to each other. So the ones I'm installing today are the Lawrence. These are the new Elite FS. They do have an ethernet port in the back. So the units will talk. Um, here, I'll open it up real quick. So now you can purchase these without a transducer. So he doesn't need a transducer because we're going to be using the one at 30 on the boat. So as you can see, the only thing that's in here is a power cord and your gimbal mount to hold the unit, the whole transducer. So it comes in handy when you're using down. This is going to be kind of a simple installation. All I use, I have just an electric drill. You just have to have the correct fittings. Like they have half a, half a, Phillips screws and half of these square. Um, so basically any kind of little toolbox, cutters, black tape. So what I did was I took this side panel off first. So I released all those, slide it back so you could see all the wires. So we're gonna mount the fish finder back here in this spot right here. So there's downriggers right here. So when he's working his downriggers, he'll be able to see the fish finder. So I'm going to install ram mount, which will be right here. So little ball mount. The unit's going to go on top like that so he could turn it either way. And we'll show you after. It's going to be powered through here. I'm going to run the wires down the side behind this panel. On the existing fish finder, I'm going to remove it. These are the existing wires that go to that fish finder. Red's the power and then this is the transducer. So I got to run an ethernet cable. So what I did was I pulled this bottom panel off and I found this wire. So I'm pulling like here and see how it's coiled up because it had like 25 feet. So I'm gonna use this as a pull wire. The only distance I have to go is from here back to this opening right here. So then what I did was I grabbed this wire and I pulled it. You see how this one's, see how it's moving? So I'm pulling back and forth. So I'm gonna use it for a pull wire. So I'm gonna pull this out. Like that. The Ethernet cables are yellow on Lawrence's. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape this guy right on here. When you do installs, this is probably one of the hardest things to do is get the wire to where you wanna go behind the cabinets. So what I do is I tape this up and try to put a point with the tape so I can get it through there. If you leave it flat, you're gonna have a hard time because you're gonna hit something that's not gonna go through. Right there just saved me a lot of work because if I didn't have this wire, I would have had to fish one through the side and fishing it through the side of these bolts is kind of difficult. So. Try to find something, the wire that's already strung through there that has a little slack in it, and then you'll be able to pull, pull this up. This is gonna be my ethernet cable. 
And what I did is I come through the top here. So sometimes if you can't get these wires through, see how big this fitting is? Compare to this one. So sometimes you can't get them through because this hole is not big enough. Push this one back down through, pull the little one up first, and then pull these through and you have no trouble. So I'm just removing this. This is just for his down rear. So the hole's already here. Put my Ethernet cable out. And then I need the power cord to the unit. Now we're going to decide where we want to put this back unit. So I got the unit on the ram mount. So this way here, he'll be able to tilt it any way he wants. And it has a six inch stroke. So it'll, it'll raise it up a little bit so he can see it. So he wants to see it while he's looking back and also while he's sitting in the seat back there. So I think displacement where he could see it would be about right here. Now I'm going to mount the ram mount onto the boat. The best screw to use is this, this is an aluminum boat. So get the self taping. This thing has a drill, drill bit on it and you just screw it right into the hole. It's really easy, just drill. I would put three of them in there and that should be plenty to hold this. all secured down so he could watch it while he's going backwards now we're getting the power to the unit so all the units come with a fuse and a fuse holder so most fish finders nowadays use a 5 amp this is an automotive fuse put it in there close the lid and what I'm doing is just giving it power so I'm gonna go to the power plug hook this line to the fuse So that'll be the positive, and this will be the negative. So I just give it 12 volts and we're ready to rock. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm actually powering the unit. So basically what I did was I went to the control panel and, and I located the navigation light so it's on a switch. So now I'm going to power this fish finder onto the nav switch so he could turn it on and off whenever he, he doesn't need it. It doesn't hurt your lights because you know if you have your lights in there or not and you have you have the switch on it doesn't hurt anything. So we're going to hook this up to power. I use a voltmeter Made sure I was getting 12 volts in what position the switch was on. And then I just make my connection, then I'll strap them all down and we'll be ready to go. So anytime you're in these boats, you're gonna be working in really tight quarters. So, you know, getting the camera or getting your hands even in these places are kind of difficult at times. So I got it hooked up now. So I'm going to plug it in and see if I it's working. And I got power running to the unit. Let's see if it works. And of course, here we go. We got 12 volts. So the unit's all hooked up. Just have to run the ethernet cable so it'll share transducers this gps will work on here work on the front now that i got all the units all hooked up so the front one here on the sonar see right here you want to make sure that says this unit 
on this one back here. See how it says this unit? So it's using the transducer fed into there. So I come back to the one in the back and you see that it says Elite FS9. So it's reading, it's mirroring the unit in the front. So if I put this on this unit, it will have no reading because there's no transducer hooked to it. So this has to be on the unit in the front, Elite FS9. So if you had two of the same units, it would say like Elite FS9, if this was a nine also. And when it says this unit, it pertains to the unit itself. This is really important. You see it right here? When you put it on sonar, you see where it says source? It says this unit. So if I touch it, you can also see Elite FS7. So that's the unit that I installed in the back. It doesn't have any deucer. So you want the unit to say this unit. So we got this unit in here, and then on the back one, it's gonna say this model, Elite FS9. So we'll go on the back, go to the sonar page, and in order to get this to work and see the source, you have this unit in Elite FS9, make sure it's on nine, click it back, it'll say nine, so now I'm mirroring what the one in the front's doing. So I only got one transducer, I won't have any interference, you could go and use any screen you want. So you can use the GPS. You can watch your tracks. You can see the sonar on the, you could go to the down scan. You could use side scan. You can use everything. So it's just mirroring what we see in the front. Very handy to have that in the back when you're using that. So now I'm completely done. Got everything all wired up. You can see the fish finder, not in the way of the downrigger. We can swing it out. You can still view it. When you have these things etherneted, you could use any screen you want on here. So I could have just the GPS on the front and I could come back here. I could use side scan. I could also use down. Uh, I could use GPS sonar. I'm all done, all buttoned up, got everything installed. So if you want it, you could click on the description box. You can see everything that I used to put this together and hope you like the video hit like and subscribe it really helped me out on my channel and leave a comment and i'll answer you back bye Fishing is fun, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today.